are getting our shipment from Speed and Strength today. Should be in today. Ordered two of the uh, SS 1600 helmets and a racing jacket for the fiance. So I'm excited to get that stuff and I'll have some reviews soon. So I picked up the new uh, cruise missile SS 1600 helmet from Speed and Strength. They had a wicked deal on, they had a clearance sale. Almost everything was $99. So I picked up a $300 helmet for $99 Canadian. And the first thing I gotta say, their online chart for the fitting, perfect. It's bang on. It's, uh, it's a very comfy helmet. It literally feels like I'm not wearing one at all. Uh, so some of the good features I like about it, it's got the, the drop down visor system. I'll show you here, you, you know, you clip it, visor goes down visor goes back up that way I don't have to carry sunglasses with me all the time and I don't have to swap visors from riding daytime to nighttime. The other thing is it's got some really really good neck support. It's got these foam pads that are also reflective for at night that you can see out the back of the helmet but uh, it keeps your neck steady or your head steady with your neck uh, when the wind starts picking up. The aerodynamics are great got the chin curtain so I haven't uh, reviewed the footage yet but I'm assuming my mic's gonna be a lot more clear the helmet is much more quiet than my last one my uh, M2R helmet uh, it's got the locking visor which is great for when you're doing highways or high speeds your visor won't pop up for any reason but the regular air seal on the visor is really good and stiff too so I'm not too worried about that it's got a good look it's comfy it's quiet 1550 grams so it's super light compared to my m2r which is also nice because that'll help with the without not having the head bobbing as well so yeah overall very very pleased with this speed and strength helmet and uh, like I said I got it on a clearance sale and it was dirt cheap so yeah I would definitely recommend people taking a look at uh, speed and strength great products, even their regular price is a decent fair price for what's a really good racing style helmet, and uh, the quality is amazing. The front ventilation could be a little bit better. I get a little hot around the mouth area, probably because the chin chin skirt, chin curtain, whatever, holds, uh, holds my breath in, but uh, Aside from the lack of front ventilation, the back ventilation is really good. I can feel it up on top and in the back. Just the front by the mouth is a little a little warm. That's that's probably my only negative thing about this helmet. Everything else is great. Love this helmet. I'm gonna be sticking with this one for quite a while. But you know, that could just be me on the front ventilation, because now that I think about it, I've never been happy with the front ventilation on any helmet I've had. So maybe I'm just a picky customer when it comes to the uh, front vents on helmets. All right, we're gonna hit up the highway, see how this helmet uh, withstands the wind on the highway. I'm thinking with the neck support and the uh, aerodynamics of this thing, it should be, I shouldn't even feel like I'm on the highway at all.
fees or anything like that. Alrighty, enjoy!